Hello and welcome to this video, this is Dermal DGC and this is a reshoot of an original video that I did actually try and upload to my channel, to this channel that you're watching on at the moment and uh, apart from I didn't like quite a few of the stuff that I did and the fact of the way I re uh, shot it, I shot it on my Samsung A51 uh, smartphone and uh, yep, yeah, I'm not very good on smartphone recordings. I shake quite a lot, and there's a lot of dithering, and there was a lot of well, there was m m many factual errors in the in the um, in the uh, in in the video. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on to this video. So this video is basically looking at the um, different pieces of equipment that I've got hence this Samsung S1060 in front of you um, so this is just one of the cameras that, that are in my collection and I'm going to go through various different ones in this video uh, so I hope you enjoy this video anyway but also giving a bit of a backstory the reason why I actually have these cameras and what I essentially use them for and basically the you know a little look at a little bit of tech um, specs of them so this to start off with this camera is as I said it's a Samsung uh, Samsung S1060 10 megapixel camera um, and also has uh, Hang on, has a sensor pitch of 1.65 and pixel area of 2.72, um, pixel density 30, 36.69. Um, so, if any photographers out there, you, you'd know what, what them sort of things are. Um, and the CC sensor is 6.06 .06, sorry 08 times 4.6 sorry 4.56 millimeter sensor um it is a one one and a half 33 inch sensor so you may be able to get some sort of technical specs on it but i will i will list the articles in the description below what i'm getting these these sort of specs from um so anyway uh right so this camera was my first uh foray into photography and i bought it in the early 2000s um i'm not sure actually exact purchase date um but yes it reasonably was a good camera when it was when i was using it and there was many sort of little bit of uh, features that advertised me into getting this also at the time i was very into my samsung products hence uh, the reason why ultimately i bought this um i think i paid Ooh, I think I paid well over £100 for this when it came out which doesn't sound a lot now but back then it was quite a lot of money actually um, and as you can see they just take it just takes regular AA batteries I think it is yep regular AA batteries and there's your SD card reader or card slot um, Right, so let's get on to the random features on it. I'm just using a manual up at the screen. So the sensor lens, so it's got a self a self uh, thing, sorry, a self-covered sensor. Um <coughs> sorry, lens. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh yeah, so it's got self-covered uh, lens. It's not really covered that much at the moment. Uh, I think I think that might be my fault I think I was messing around with it probably and it is a Samsung lens uh, 6.3 to 31.5 millimeter zoom lens this has got five time optical zoom um, 
but some of these cameras do have digital zoom which basically what that does is it crops the image some of them does it quite reasonably good others don't really do them very good uh, this one was actually surprisingly uh, surprisingly good actually in the uh, in the uh, in the final product so let's just let's just go around the covers uh, sorry the the features of it so it's got a big screen on it I'm not sure what the diameters of the screen is let's just nope it doesn't say what diameters of the screen is but it's a fairly large screen anyway so the screen the LCD screen here and then you've got the uh, the, the way that you um, you could also you could use this to navigate the menu and also um, there's the menu button and the OK button and you've got different features on here you've got the white so the zoom and the thumbnail also button on that W you've also got digital zoom and that's the I think it's T button digital zoom and yeah so those are the zoom buttons also you've got a uh, camera status light there so it tells you when the actual camera's uh, taking pictures or when it's on or what's happening with the camera. Uh, you've got you've got your face detection button there. You've got your E effects button here. That's the E button there. So you've got the effects. You've got uh, face detection and you've got your fin and delete button so function and delete button so anything that you want on here there's loads of different functions on here you've got your function mode there um so you got um you've got your uh light sorry uh, flash you've got timer you've got your dithering or i think that's dithering isn't it uh da -da 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 -da. let's just see Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, so you've got you've got your um, you got your mold there, your uh, divering mold here. You've got your preview button there, and you've got the print button. Also on the side, you've got your uh, USB type uh, USB connector there and a power connector uh, DC 3.3 volts if you can make it out there 3.3 volts um, and you've got your uh, what's it called your um, uh, tripod mount there tripod mount socket there obviously battery compartment and SD card and uh, yeah, and then you get this lovely little lanyard that I got with it. Also on the front, you've got your several modes here. You've got scene, if you can see it. Oops. Yep, you've got scene. Uh, you've got film. You've got auto. You've got uh, program. Oh, you've got program, manual. Uh, you've got this, which is, uh, I think it's motion... Um, motion stabilization then you've got your menu button another menu button and then I'm not sure what that one is but if anyone can understand that anyway and that's your power button and that's obviously the shuttle button there so yeah um, yeah and if you see it here if you see it there it says 10.2 megapixel uh, MPEG pixels uh, yeah so that's just one camera that I've actually managed to do uh, that had it had sorry um, and also you've got your flash there and you got your autofocus light and also you've got a little speaker here 
before I forget we've got a little speaker there and microphone I think it is so it's it's it is a fairly simple camera uh, fairly simple uh, to use and fairly simple things to to actually um, to start off with so this was my first camera and let's get on to my next camera right so as you see in front of us now we have a Sony Mavic Air FD90 camera and a lot of nostalgia and memories will be flooding back into many people who have used these cameras who are actually looking at this video at the moment and uh, I haven't personally actually used this camera this was given to me via a family member of mine and when they were going through all their, all their old, um, old stuff so it was given to me and I've kept it ever since. I've probably had it for quite a few years now and as I said I've never used it because I've never really had the ability to use it because as we will come apparent not many computers actually get fitted with the same type of media uh, that, that this actually takes. This doesn't take SD card. It, it doesn't take any sort of up-to-date medium this takes 1.44 floppy disks or oh, sorry 1.44 megabyte floppy disks and you insert them in that in that drive there so many people back in the 90s including myself had one maybe two maybe three computers with this drive installed or with a drive a lot like this installed in their PCs and uh, oh god that, those were the days those but yeah um, so this is a movie and stills camera so it is it has well it says it has progress so precision digital zoom 16 times and it's set on auto focus or you can put it onto manual focus you've got a DC in jack there i'm not sure what the voltage is on this hang on let's just see what the voltage is oh the voltage is it says it right here 7.2 volts so it's so if you've got an adapter with 7.2 volts you could you probably power this up but i highly suggest if you are messing around especially with old tech like this get the right official adapter you could probably find these i mean i found a quite a few just researching on this camera in the last couple of days uh, there's a quite a few uh, on ebay at the moment and with the uh, with the um with the charger and there was one guy with a charger camera and stuff like this for less than 50 pound on there so i don't know it might actually go at when I actually produce this video but uh, yes yeah, so let's just get back to the ports so it's got a flash on here uh, you've got uh, audio mono video output there I'm not sure what that is I think that's a audio port there yeah that's the audio port sorry and that's the um, that's the video output You've got the volume button there, if you can see there, volume. You've got the on and off switch for the backlight LCD, because this is a, an LCD screen. I am not sure what size the screen is. Again, I don't know. Um, but, yep, uh, you've got play, still, a movie. So you can play your movies on here. You can shoot stills otherwise photographs on here and you can shoot movies again I'm not sure what size what what probably um, what space of movies you could probably put on here what well what time scale of movies you could put on but I would have thought that it would have been quite short on here I'm not a 100% expert on these cameras but you know I like collecting them anyway and then you've got the power on and off button here and charging button. Uh, so power on and off, and then you you can switch there to charge it. Um, you've got your flash here. You've got your 
uh, uh, focus I think it is focus mode there and then you've got your um, program and display and then you've got your menu and your um, your dialog box or oh, sorry uh, directional pad here all right so you yeah so you pull that back there to, to put the menu on uh, and then you've got your eject disc button which seems to be a bit sticky there can you see it yeah seems to lock actually yeah so you need to do that so so it seems to lock which is quite good actually you don't want discs falling out uh, you've got your uh, lithium battery uh, port here I haven't got the battery for it hence it didn't come with a battery you've got your tripod mount there uh, obviously you've got your manufacturer's details and all the uh, FC numbers there and uh, yes <coughs> so hang on what's that what is that Oh, you got a blanking plate here as well. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, so as I said, uh, this was given to me via a, um, a family member. And I just thought I'd put it in the video because it's quite a good uh, quite a good camera. Uh, quite a weird one, I must admit. And I've, as I said, I've never really used it. And, but I would love to take the time to probably one day use it. Maybe get a battery for it. You could you can actually get a USB floppy drive, so I could probably get a couple of floppies if I could. Buy a couple of floppies, take this out, do a bit of still. Hey, that would be a project. That that's something that I could actually do. But yeah, anyway, next camera. Right, as you see before you now is two film cameras. One is a Nikon EM, and the other one is a Nikon F six zero one. Now, uh, this one, the EM is fully manual, the F601 is automatic or, well, motor drive automatic camera. Um, so, one, this one is very basic, this one's a bit more advanced. Both of them are mid ranged uh, cameras. This EM, Nikon EM, was originally released in 1972. Um, and the F uh, F601 was released in 19 what was it 1991 around about 91 90 and um, yeah so both of the cameras are um, both F series lenses uh, sorry F bracketed lenses and both are film lenses 35 millimeter film now. Uh, I uh, these were these were given to me as well as um, as a few other stuff that was given to me due to the fact of I did have another film camera which was an FM series uh, film camera which was a lot like the one that I'm shooting on on at the moment which uh, which is the Nikon N. So Nikon Z FC camera, which is modelled on the F series F2 cameras. Um, so anyway, so these were given to me via a good um, a local guy who saw that I was a bit in trouble. And uh, well, well, what basically happened was, was I was out with my camera in, in my uh, student days, and I ended up getting mugged. Um, to put a brief point on it, um, basically what happened was I ended up getting no mugged at knife point, the camera stolen, me um, me me lens that I was attached to the camera was stolen, and uh, yeah, and what really did it in for that, uh, what really annoyed me at that time was not only five seconds after that was. Um, that happened a PCSO on a mountain bike came and I said look I've just been mugged and he went and I literally pointed down down the that down the way where the guy had run and I said look he's just mugged me he's just mugged me at knife point and it was literally caught on CCTV 
Um, and one thing he said was, well, what do you want me to do about it? Uh, you've got to phone the police. And I went, hang on. I went, you're on a mountain bike. You're a PCSO. You need to do something. Well, no, he didn't. So anyway, that's, that's a brief tangent on that. But these cameras were actually um, uh, given to me in light of that situation. Hence a few, I think a few other lenses I got with him. Um, and uh, yes, so these, as I said, are 35 mil. That is motor driven. This one isn't. As you see, um, if I can, if, if it'll let me, if I can actually, oh, where is it now? Where is it? Ah, there we go. So, see, hang on, I'll do that better on camera. Right, so to to mo to release the uh, to release the back here, you pull this this little tab here, this little tab. You pull this, pull it up, wait until it clicks, and then there we go. And that is what is inside all most well, yeah, if not all of the 35 mil cameras this one is exactly the same i will i will briefly show you what's in what's at the end of this so what we have here is we have the 35 mil space here where you put the cartridge space where you put the cartridge in it or the film reel or whatever you want to call it you know the film canister you put that in uh, you'd spread the film all the way over there and feed it into this this bracket here this feeder and it it latches onto these little notches if you can see these little notches here you can see them and there as well it feeds on them ones and it just motor motor drives it so if you oh God, it's not what I'm gonna do it now ah right so that's it that's it wound and now for some reason that is supposed to clip down but isn't really working for some re reason probably the that this needs to be uh, looked at but yes as you see you've got the um, you've got various different features on here. You've got fully auto, which handles all the different things on it. Um, it handles the uh, motor release and shutter and stuff like that. I think it handles the timing all as well. Um, you've got the shutter here, which this is the shutter there. You've got the, eye, the viewfinder. You've got the hot shoe. You've got the feeder here you've got the aperture sorry the uh, the iso setting oops you can, ooh, yep you've got the iso setting so it's set at 400 here which i think was the last um film that i actually put in here uh you've got self timer as well so you can do it self timing oops and you have a E-series Nikon 28mm lens fitted to it which actually it is a nice camera it's a really really nice camera probably needs a bit of maintenance uh, definitely needs a bit of maintenance I think but it hasn't actually uh, been used for quite some time you have the um, it probably needs some uh, don't know if it needs batteries in it or something it probably doesn't but there's a there's the uh, uh, tripod adapter here you've got I'm not sure what that is I think it might be for an internal battery um, you have uh, the self tap the, the the shutter timer, so you can set that. So that'll do. 
that'll do on the motor. There we go. So that's that's all the self timer. And uh, yeah, it's very basic, very nice, and uh, yeah, so that's the um, camera. So let's put that back there. This is a bit more advanced, as you see here. This is an AF F60, sorry, 6600, if I can get it right. And you've got various different features on this camera. So you've got a mode shut. You got sorry. You've got a mode button there. You've got an ISO DX manual as well. You've got uh, bracketing uh, or white balance. Sorry, you've got a white balance sensor set. Um, you've got um, dr uh, drive auto focus. You've got a. Um, SW, SLW, what's that? Shutter length, width, or something like that. You've got, anyway, you've got, um, you've got a flash thing, because I think this has actually got an onboard flash. If you can remember right. You can release it. Yep, it's got an onboard flash, as you see there. So that's probably down to the settings of the flash as well uh, you've got a white balance oops I can bloody get it right yeah so you've got a white balance and a flash button there another flash button there you've got a white balance one you've got on and off switches here you've got your um, oh I think that's a hot I think that's a um, shot release bracket there or actually no that's a shutter it's a shutter button you've got a mode dial switch for probably ISO I'm not sure um, right so how the hell do you get out of this right. so yes so this probably won't actually work because I've got no batteries in it uh, this takes 12 6 volt lithium battery in it and I haven't seemed to have got the battery for it um, but as you see this is a little bit more advanced this has got a motor in it so it's a motor driven um, camera which you feed it in and it'll go click and then that's the back that's that's the film so you do the same thing put the film in here put the cartridge in here yeah Pull the film right over here to the feeder there, and then it will. And then once you at, once it's actually fed onto these sprockets here, you you close the thing, and as long as the camera is switched on, it will go click, and or you know a clicking sound, and you know that it will actually the the thing will be fed and you will actually see the number appear here which gives you the ISO the um, the, the f-stop and the shutter speed I think it is and also it will give you the um, the the number of shots you've got left like all digital cameras do they give you a nice little uh, time of how many shots you've got left uh, what you've got left in the camera and also you've got a, a, a switch here which is oops, which is manual shutter priority and central focus I think that is uh, you've got your um, lens release button here and that is inside the camera that's even inside the digital cameras they haven't pretty much changed obviously this camera has this one that I'm shooting on at the moment this hasn't got one of them mirrors but instead of having the shutter as you saw in the back of this camera 
in digital cameras he's got a nice little um, CMOS sensor um, of various different types um, so right so that's the film cameras the next let's get into the next cameras right so now we're having a look at a Nikon D40 which was my first Nikon DSLR that I bought in well as a part of my photography and this was originally released in November 16th 2006 and has a one point sorry 6.1 megapixel uh, CCD sensor in it and uh, yes it is a Nikon DSLR and it is an F mounted camera so uh, all my previous lenses would be able to fit into this even some of the um, like film lenses that I have and will probably will be showing uh, later on in this video but this was uh, as I said this was my first DSLR this was bought shortly just before I started uni so I started college should I say and the story behind this was I wanted to get more involved in photography and I had this for the first couple of years when I was studying in uh, doing the A-level photography and uh, also shooting many on manual as well but I also did digital photography as well and started messing around with like Photoshop and other programs like that and uh, think of right I started do, using Corel, sorry, Corel Draw, um, and other sort of uh, editing programs like that, and other, um, you know, graphic intensive programs. And uh, yeah, so this was um, this was quite a good camera actually, uh, and not necessarily as as megapixel powerful as this one that i shown right at the beginning of this video but as you can see a little bit of a time scale really a little bit of a little bit of an evolution of where my photography was going um and i could get more out of this than i could out of this so yes um so right uh, so the, the the main settings on this is it's got a nice five inch screen uh, It's got the preview button there the menu button the white balance and Minimize button and the maximize button for zooming in in the uh, in the preview screen or the LCD screen here it's got um, um, a waste basket button for deleting photos it's got your directional buttons and the OK button for manual sorry menu selection and scrolling around in the preview screen for for uh, for images it's got a viewfinder uh, onboard flash if I can get it up if it no it won't won't release without the battery I haven't got the battery for this but it has got an onboard flash the same as the other camera um, that I've shown uh, it's got a focus light here uh, shutter uh, sorry lens release there FN function and uh, and and uh, time and time lapse I think it is or so um, Oh, what's it called? Shutter, shutter time release uh, button there. I can't even think what it's called now. Uh, strap, strap, uh, strap hooks. I haven't got the strap for it anymore. Hot shoe adapter or hot shoe uh, port there. Um, we've got function buttons here. So, uh, sorry. Oh, um, auto focus buttons here or auto focus modes. We've got your scroll wheel here for scroll wheel here for shutter uh, shutter uh, speeds and and um, uh, ISO uh, selections scrolls 
and then this is the reason why I bought this camera because it had more functions here so we've got manual aperture priority shutter priority uh, program auto no flash we've got portrait landscape um, I think that's motion I think it is oh that's motion and then we've got all the other features here um, and we've got a SD card reader here and then we've got the battery hence I haven't got the battery so here it is is the uh, so it's a Nikon digital camera D40 made in Japan uh, Nikon Corporation Japan obviously made in China or Malaysia oh no made in Thailand there it says it there made in Thailand <laughs> well everything's made in China nowadays we've got uh, or Thailand or Malaysia or somewhere like that um, we've got your tripod release sorry tripod mount there I keep calling it tripod release I don't know why and yeah that's basically oh yeah you've got the shut of shutter button there and then you've got the info and white balance button there and then you've got the on off switch here so a bit more advanced come on you a bit more advanced on on the camera and a bit more advanced on the features and the reason why i love this camera more than anything was because <clears throat> i wasn't basically um i wasn't tied down to excuse me I wasn't tied down yeah I'm just drinking a cup of tea while I'm doing this so as I said I wasn't tied down to a single lens a single sort of <clears throat> subject a single uh, genre you could put the lenses on as you see as you see here this is a Sigma uh, DC 18 to 25 mil 125 mil lens so you just take that off if i can take it off take this off Oop, if i can take that off as well then all you do is where's the white there you put the white thing to the white the white dot to the white dot and then And then all, all is good. And that is exactly the reason why I love DSLRs or any sort of interchangeable camera systems. And yeah, uh, even though this this basically isn't functional at the moment because I it's not got a battery, but also because if I can remember right, the reason why I stopped using this is because I kind of messed up the sensor in it. Um, the sensor, the CC, so C C C D sensor, if I can pronounce it right, has a bit of water staining on it. Basically, what happened was I was out at a gig in Manchester, well, in local area, yeah, in Manchester, all right, and um, I. I was outside and as local people may know Manchester isn't a very weather weather well known city for sun or glorious well we've got sun at the moment but glorious weather and it started raining so I'm stood there in the crowd of a few hundred people thinking no I'm gonna be all right I'll just take a couple of shots and then I'll get going well, I wish I'd, I wish I'd have not said that and not thought of that because what basically happened was water went, hit the lens, hit the cover lens, went behind where the bracket is or either went in the lens or however it happened, but it got in the camera or in the body of the camera, should I say, went behind the CCD lens, dried, and then you know you've got a you got a nice little dot on the lens on the on the picture, nice little black little dot, which is easy to 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 actually 
um, to actually uh, correct in photo editing. I didn't know that at that time, um, although if I did know, I didn't have the skills to do it. Now I could probably do it fairly easily, fairly, fairly simply, and um, with today's technology, with today's sort of uh, computer systems and and software and Adobe and you know all that sort of thing it's very easy to do that most of the time anyway not every single time but most of the time on most subjects and especially if you've got uh, images that you can work with however this has got some sensor damage to it and I'll definitely have to replace the battery to it I'll definitely have to get a battery charger for it and possibly, if I can, correct the sensor, clean the sensor. I'll probably have to get it sent off to, say, like Nikon or, or a local cleaning company. Sorry, a local camera cleaning company, um, which probably might be quite profitably expensive to do it because they might actually have to send it off to Nikon so I might have to send it to them to send off to Nikon to get it cleaned and it just might be not very worth the the, 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 the fact that the camera's worth I might actually be cheaper to just replace the camera in that sense uh, but right so now we're having a look at the semi-professional uh, selection of cameras that I have or pro commercial cameras um, and this is a Nikon D80. This was originally released in August the 9th, 2009. And this is a 10.2 megapixel CCD camera. Sensor resolution is 3898 by 2616. So make that however you might. Um, and the maximum resolution is a th uh, is three eight two seven, sorry three eight seven two. So three, yeah three eight seven two to two five nine two uh, maximum image resolution and uh, all sort of things. And the maximum ISO this can take is. 16, 000, sorry, 1600 ISO and it can go from auto to 200 to 400 to 800 to 1600 ISO so it's it's an okay camera to to for, for a few sort of things but not really really mad um, uh, big sort of ISO settings and but the good thing is, is it helps you, uh, is it um, sort of expanded my knowledge on on cameras and it basically made me more, more, more intricate into the, into the taking and more sort of knowledge of the, of the, uh, of the settings which are put on here. Now this has got a batch in it so we can actually have a look at I think I can have a look at the menu on this if I can if I can actually Ah there we go right so I don't know if you can see that so this is the custom menu. Sorry, this is the this is the menu that you usually have. So you've got playback, shooting menu. Oops, shooting menu. Yep. Yeah. Uh, custom settings menu, and then you've got setup menu, and then you've got retouch. Um, I never really used the retouch menu on this, but the setup. And the custom menu where you can set up like the beeps, the autofocus area mode, the central auto, uh, fo autofocus area, the autofocus assistant, the memory card, uh, no memory card lock, or all this sort of thing. Uh, and you can set up the uh, CSM 
setup menu and all sorts you can you can really really go into depth with this and as you can see it's got a slightly bit more functions bit more buttons and as any male will tell you more buttons equals better really um, which is what what really I've really liked with these cameras uh, really all the buttons all you know more 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 buttons is is better for me which is the reason why I bought this 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 actual uh, Nikon the Nikon that I'm currently shooting on at the moment so right uh, just to brief go over it uh, we've got uh, we've got the USB port there which is micro USB I think then we've got the DC uh, uh, DC um, jack here I didn't get a DC adapter for it uh, this is uh, yeah you've got the video out you've got the uh, the shutter uh, release thing here which that's a little USB port there well it's not a USB port it's more of a um, a custom sort of uh, port here anyway uh, so we've got uh, manual auto uh, sorry, I keep saying it auto aperture priority shutter priority programming and you've all obviously we've got we've got all the other features that we've already explored before and this is the reason why I love these cameras because it gives you all the buttons on here all the features so as you can see it's set on auto ISO so uh, yeah and actually I haven't got a, I haven't got a, um, a thing on it so we'll just put that in there like that format yes I want a format okay formatting Please format. Done. Right. That's my Windows. Uh, so Ubuntu uh, thing gone then. So as you can see here, uh, it's got it can carry one thousand to two hundred images. So let's just. Do an image. Yeah. So there's there's a little kitty cat, and so there she is. She's just off to the side. I've just clicked that. So that's what it basically is. So then you can go down into all the histogram settings, the highlights. And then you can see what the white balance is. So the white balance is way over 1600, normal. Um, I don't, yeah, quality size raw. Quality, sorry, size and quality raw. I always shoot on raw in this. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so you get, you get the idea what these cameras are all about. And this isn't the original camera that i had i had i think it was a d90 i had before i got the final one before this um that before this camera that i'm shooting on i had um but that was basically the same sort of look on this this i actually bought this specific camera i actually bought from cex uh, local CEX and I think I paid about 60 quid for it um, which was just the body and I thought you know what I need another camera I always need another camera so so I went in bought it and yeah it's it's good it's not as good as the um, as the D7000 which we're going to be looking at shortly but it's not really 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 good in a way um, it's not fantastic the quality is not fantastic plus 
you can't shoot video on this. I thought you could, uh, but you can't. But you can have long exposures, so there's long exposures on there. Um, obviously, it only takes one uh, card, which has me D7000 D takes two cards. Um, I have a AF 35 to 70 mil lens on here. Uh, this is a um, a film lens or a 35 mil lens. It is a AF Nikko lens, and uh, this I bought from a local local uh, camera shop. That I'm always in. It's like a kid in the candy store. I'm like uh, uh, um, at a local computer shop as well. Anything to do with computers and cameras, that's it. I'm, I'm hooked. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so right. So let's get on to our next one. Right. While the cat, while the cat's slightly in shot, let's get on to our next or our final camera, should I say, which is a Nikon D7000. And this was originally released on September the 15th, 2010. I didn't buy it then. I bought it probably about 2014, 15, when I finally went to uni in 2015. And yes, um, and this is a 16.5 megapixel CMOS censored camera. So it's a dramatic upstep from the D, um, uh, sorry, the D80, D90 cameras, um, which is here, the D, D90, D80 camera, um, and this served me a hell of a lot well, and it came with another lens, should I say, uh, actually. I should actually say the original camera, this isn't my original camera that I bought back in 2015. This was another, this is a, um, sorry, replacement camera that I bought probably around 2016-17 off, uh, off a handy uh, uh, website that I will link in the description below. A not affiliated link, but I think it's a really good website for buying uh, photography equipment i bought loads of stuff off there um but the cat the actual original camera got stolen i'm very very unlucky about cameras but uh that actually got stolen when the house got burnt when the house got uh ram uh, well i'd say the house got burgled we got burgled should i say and uh yeah the car got stolen and this this camera or the previous camera the previous d7000 was in the boot so the car got stolen robbed more or should i say burnt out and the camera was in the was in the actual um the actual boot and i'd only put it in the night before because i thought right oh well i'm gonna go out you know me and me, me and my friend were well my friend was staying with me at that time and me and my friend were gonna go out and do a bit of photography stuff do a bit of a go uptown and stuff like that but hey up you know it happens but anyway uh yes yeah, so this is a uh, 16.5 megapixel camera um one hell of a big up step as i said from the other one and as the kitty always wants to make herself appearance doesn't she want to make herself an appearance yes she does i'm just fighting with her off screen <laughs> um yeah um but as I said, this has got more advanced features, and the advanced feature that I always loved, and I've shot a few videos on this channel, should I say, using this camera, which is the film button. And the film button is absolutely fantastic, because it comes up like this, you can actually see it on screen, and it's a live view, and everything like that. And it has got um, longer shot. Hang on, let's just see if I can do it now. Let's see if I can do it now. Yeah. So as you can see, there's my there's my setup. There's my website. There's sorry. There's Google, not my website, should I say? But 
that's what the live shot. Uh, sh I'm sorry, the live, the live uh, image says, and it's pretty much the same on this camera. Um, and yes, yeah, so this is more advanced, as I said. Uh, you can actually fit a mic to this, and this has got a HDMI, mini HDMI port. Um, it's got AV, AV out, I think it is. Yeah, AV out, uh, USB port there, um, chat, um, shutter GPS or shutter port there, mic, so you can stick a mic in it. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. And this is what I loved about it. Except, uh, as you can see, it's a bit slightly a bit damaged on here. This actually I could probably get repaired. Uh, but it has actually two USB, uh, sorry, two USB, two uh, SD card slots. Now, uh, they have got, they have gone away from that. Some of the cameras, especially some of the mirrorless cameras. I know the one that I was watching, I was looking at, as I was looking at this mirrorless camera that I'm shooting on at the moment, um, did have two SD card slots, but you, you know, you were paying well over two, three grand for it. So I thought, well, just for the lens, just for the camera itself. Um, and uh, yeah, what the hell's that? I don't know. Um, so, and it's also got a focusing thing on the viewfinder so you can so you can focus it in the viewfinder so you can focus the viewfinder better for your eyes you got auto you got uh, oh god you've got um auto focus modes there you've got info info button there you've got a long shutter release there um you've got all the all the features there that, that we've already went over we've got all them You've even got this, which is new to this sort of, well, was new to me at the time anyway, which is you've got single shot, um, continuous shot, and then you've got another continuous shot one, and you can just, like, see if you want, you know, if you want continuous shots, or if you want long burst shots, or if you want... Um, time shots or anything like that. Oops, I just moved the camera there. Or anything that you want to do, you can do on this camera, which is brilliant. And also, it's got a light on there, so you can do it at night. Uh, so you know what know what, what settings you've got. So yeah, so it it is quite good. And as I've put the Sigma D DC. 18 to 25, sorry, 125 millimeter lens on it, which is the lens I primarily use for this camera, even though I can actually use it with this thing with the FTZ2 adapter. Um, and also, just oh, yeah, so anyway, let's get on to the next part, the final part, which is looking at a few of the lenses. Right, so this 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 final section is just a quick look of the many different lenses and obviously the lens adapter that I've got in my setup. So first of all, we'll 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 look at like stuff like this, which is a a Hanex. Uh, sorry, Hanimex uh, Automatic um, Macro Lens, and this is a beast of a lens. It's really, really heavy. It's a um, th uh, it, it's sort of like works in feet, so it's you know, so you, you can basically just go uh, focus it through there. And uh, it's a really, really good lens, actually. Uh, and I've used this quite a few times. Uh, not 
for any sort of outfield shots or anything like that or any any urban shots but any time that i'm doing any studio macro lens macro work or anything like that that i'm always using this this is a fantastic lens it's bloody heavy as well um and thanks to to the adopter adapter that i've got for this for this camera that i can actually use this on any camera that i've got um and the next one is oh let's let's have a look at the sigma lens now this sigma lens is a sigma uc zoom 70 to 2 to 210 um lens and the only issue i have with this lens it's quite a good lens quite a good mechanical lens uh, sorry quite a good auto focus lens the only thing that I have a bit of issue with with this lens is if you can see it's a bit rubby but it's because it's coated in rubber and the rubber anything that you have with rubber coating I don't know what the hell they were thinking of when they were when they were manufacturing this or when they were designing it because it's the worst thing that you can do really with a lens uh, coat it in really really tack, tactile tacky rubber and most of the most of the damage is even before I actually got it I got it second hand um, but as of actually using the lens great for for urban shots great for every single other shot that you may want to take uh, great for uh, portraits um, mainly used in urban this one and uh yeah so it's uh it's a quite good quite good lens actually autofocus sigma autofocus lens uh right so that's that one done the next one let's have a look at this one now this one is i find it quite comedic really because you can do that i'm a bit of a child but anyway um <laughs> But this is a um, this is a film lens, really. This is a an AF lens, and well, it, well, I wouldn't say it's an AF lens. I'd say it's an F lens. It's uh, it's made in Japan, so it's a Japanese lens, and it's a Nikon series, uh, Nikon lens series C lens, and it is seventy five to one fifty millimeter lens with a filter on it and I have got various different filters for this um, I did buy a load of filters I need to I need to clean this lens up actually most of these are actually going to go to a professional cleaner where they can actually clean all the lenses because I wouldn't really mind using them all and uh, yeah it is a really really good lens really it's it's one of these ones where it's a bit deceiving and you can get really up close to to subjects and you can get as far away as you can and it is really really good really good really good for for um for urban shots and if you want to be a bit of a paparazzi sort of style sort of thing but you don't really want them giant big lenses get yourself one of these fantastic um and to just round it off a little bit we've already had a look at the dc uh lens uh sorry the sigma dc lens the other um lens that i've recently got actually with this camera is a nikon dx 50 to 250 mil lens and this is a z as z bracketed lens specifically bought for this z uh, camera and also I got this N N sorry F T Z as uh, two F two sorry Z two F bracketed adapter. So basically, what I can do is I can put any of these lenses. I can put any of the F series lenses or any other lenses that I've got. Put that on there. Attach it to the camera and. Well, hey, we're, we're going. So, yeah. Um, and this, I haven't really used, uh, really, 
more than just actually just attaching it to the camera and just really playing around with it a little bit but it does feel quality most of the nikon lenses do feel quality and there's and there is some glass in this it's not as heavy as this thing this thing you could kill you could kill a small you could kill a human with this if you threw it uh this however i wouldn't suggest throwing the actual lenses not a very good idea uh, especially for uh for for legal reasons really um but no, uh, so yeah, so you can really feel the feel the um, the actual quality in it, and and as you see, there's the F bracket. Sorry, there's the Z bracket, and it is actually, I think, no, it isn't. It's plastic. I thought it was metal. That's the only that's the only issue I have with Nikon themselves, because. If you look on the original lenses, if I can get it off, it's mostly, mostly, mostly metal. So you've got, obviously, you've got that piece that's that's probably, actually, no, actually, I think it's all metal. You've got that that's metal. Now, you don't really, 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 really see the issue behind it until you actually drop your camera. Now, I actually did actually drop the D7000 that, that I actually, um, I accidentally dropped it, mind you. The strap came loose, so it just literally dropped up out of my hand, or dropped off the strap, went on the floor. The, the actual lens that I actually had with it, uh, which was a Nikkor lens, it broke the the actual bracket, the actual uh, hang on, the actual thing here, the the little latches that you can see on it, little little notches there, they they snapped off, and uh, yeah, don't ever try and think that you can actually um, meet, um, fix or uh, yeah service any lens, no. Because what you don't realise is there's a little cable. Usually, I don't know if it's in this camera, but sorry, in this lens. But what there is is there's a little cable that ties all the little pieces of mirrored glass in it, all little little lenses, and they tie all together. Now you snap that lens, you snap that cable. That's it, you snookered, and that's what I ended up doing. I ended up snapping the cable, or either snapping it or losing it inside the lens. So that was that lens all over and done with. But anyway, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time for another video. And uh, yeah, so um, just to round it off anyway, um, this is a speed light uh, and Yang, Yang New, uh, I, I can't even pronounce it, but anyway, it's there. Uh, speed light YN5 um, <coughs> flash and the battery I think is going in it oh no it isn't and yes yeah, so this this is basically a flash so you can actually if it'll do it hey so it'll do it will it do it no it won't um, so as you see it, it did flash then I'm very very sorry I didn't want anybody about it but this is a good sort of flash better than the onboard flash and as new cameras like this one don't have an onboard flash not many cameras actually have onboard flashes actually now not new ones anyway someone's at the front doorbell right now to round it off uh, to do last bit of video last bit of the uh, video here this is a flash gun as they call it in the trade and this is a yn 562 speed light yang new i think it's called or oh, that's the that's the name on on the um on the on the flash gun anyway and this is an infrared that's an infrared sensor so you can use it uh you can actually use this with many other um any sort of 
um, uh, studio sort of lights or any sort of flash studio flash flashlights that you've got or flashlights well you know uh, flash things that you've got and uh, it takes four AA batteries I think I've switched it off there and as you see here you've got mold so you've got manual mold uh, S1, S2 and multi so you can basically just program them in to do whatever you want and that's your focal length so it's set at 50 millimeters so you can do 70, 80, 105, 24, 28, 35 so you can do anything from 24 to 105 mils and also it's got a um, got a sound button so you can actually if you if if I can do it can I do it oh well let do it hey it did it that was the flash gun I don't know if you saw it I'm not gonna do it again anyway so you get the point uh, and this auto this charges up and it is always handy to have some rechargeable batteries because this these go f th well this one goes through batteries like a candy dust it really does it goes through batteries like anything and the thing is is it hasn't got a battery reader on it so you so you can't judge say like oh well the batteries are running low let's let's recharge batteries i think i've had batteries sitting in here for quite some time so i'll take them out and uh, yep so these are what is in it double a um yeah double a energizer max batteries uh and yeah so anyway that's it for the video, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on another video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and please don't forget to uh, comment down below and share this video, like this video and I will see you all next time on another video. Thank you for watching and I hope you made it towards the end. I know it's been a bit of a long video but anyway, I do appreciate it and I do... Uh, do appreciate all the support and now I'm going to say wish you all good luck and uh, well goodbye and uh, and I will see you all next time on another video bye for now bye bye